Town Gaming. Uh, my name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite. The explosive one, Jonas. I'm the man on the stick. You have the stick. We're playing Madden 20, the San Francisco 49 Absolutely. Uh, as always, we're playing events only. We're sitting in the D, and we're using that bounce play. Look, mm. No, we're not. We're using something else. I'm yeah. talking S. And you're playing on pro difficulty. I am prone on yeah, pro you're difficulty. Playing, I don't even know what playbook you're using. The one that comes with the team? The one, yeah, the team playbook. Yeah, the team playbook. The team, the team playbook. The team mantra book. Ah, oh. little pamphlets, Jonas. Oh, little, that's what. That's what, I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm gonna call it little pamphlet. Little pamphlets here. Little pamphlet here to teach you something in a short. <laughs> you ready for my TED talk, the fudger? <laughs> <laughs> little pamphlet. I'm gonna teach you how to do something in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. Yeah. That's all I need. Two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little pamphlet. Little pamphlet. <laughs> Why are my own concepts? I like it. <clears throat> Let's start out with one of my favorite, my curls. Is it? What's your, oh, your curl, love. boys? This is like a easy, easy couple points if it gets, if it goes, everything goes right. There we go. Boom. Easy first now. Yeah, boy. Uh, Jonas. What up, man? I got one. Do you? Got one what? Yeah. Yeah. Your first car, Jones. What was your first car? The Dodge Spirit. What the hell is that? An old person car. It sounds, I bought it from my grandparents. Sounds like one. It was a four door sedan. Very roomy. It was great for a high school kid because I could fit like six people in that B. Uh, like what year was it? It was a 1991 Dodge Spirit. Woo! It was tan. <laughs> Oh my god, was it like one of those? remember that car? Vaguely. You stood on the roof of it. Did I stand on the roof? And I was like, well, you gotta get down, bro. Like, we were like being like, we were being a holes. And I was like, dude, stand on top of my car, it'll be funny. And then you get up and You the did tell me to and, then, and then the roof started like going like, buck buck, because like. You did and I was like, oh god, be careful, get down, okay. You did tell me to do that. Well, you <laughs> It was, absolutely. We were, oh, we were in a my house, God. And I was like, dude, it'd be so great. Go ahead and get on top. I'll take a picture. And then I was like, oh, Jesus boy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It didn't, it didn't leave any permanent damage, but it did start to go. You know, like when metal starts yeah, to buckle yeah, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah. It was like, oh. I remember one time in my first car, which was a... Wow. It was not an Altima. What was my first car, Jonas? It was Kia, I think. No, that was the first car I, I like, uh, purchased. Purchased yourself? Oh, okay. Wow, I don't remember what my first car was. I don't know. I have to think about it. I remember uh, I went to the drive-in. Yeah. And uh, I had me and some girl just, like, laid on the hood of my car. And I was like, oh, this seems like a good idea. It's the hood of a car. It should be able to support. No, my hood never looked the same. Yeah, because, like, yeah, it, 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 like, it got warped. Oh yeah, it definitely warped it. It was unfortunate. I, <laughs> I beat the hell out of that car, man. Yeah, man. The first car you ever purchased for yourself? Uh, 1997 Z Grand Cherokee. You had a Grand Cherokee, fam? I did. Why don't I remember this Cherokee? I had it. I don't know, dude. You should remember it. I don't. It uh, I had it when I lived in Youngstown, across the street from Ev. Yeah. And all them. And Squeak used to ride around in it all the time. And like I used to have, I had like a, I had like two twelve, two Rockford 12s in it. And I would, oh, like, shit. I would like, I would like Blair Weezer and stuff all over Blair town. Weezer. Like, I remember when I met Colonel for the first time, he was like, he was like, oh yeah, you're the guy who drives around town Blair and Weezer on his system. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. And, uh, yeah, I used to drive that around. And then I, it was parked on the street and someone hit it and totaled it. Oh, that was a very common occurrence in that town that we. What well, happened in Youngstown? He was driving no. a Cavalier. He was driving a Chevy Beretta. He hit. Uh, it is on a residential street, 25 mile an hour speed limit. Mm -hmm. He hit the back of my Jeep, parked on the side of the road, and totaled it out. That's how fast this dude was going down that road. So he had to pay for it, right? Yeah, I mean, I got. That's how I got my Lumina, because like I got the <gasps> money from the car and I just bought the Lumina. That it. was the my first car was a Chevy Lumina. Yeah. That was my very first yeah, car. I had that Lumina forever. I had it like 10 years. I drove it to the ground. It was to the point where like it wouldn't pass inspection, and I needed like an AC and a muffler and a da 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 it was, it was just getting to the point where it wasn't going to work. And my grandparents were getting rid of another car, and so I bought that car off of them. Nah. And then that car got stolen. And then that Jesus, car Johnny, you've had some rough times with and cars. And that car blew a gasket. I remember the first car I bought 
for myself self was uh, I bought it at an auction. Oh, a police auction? No, it was not a police auction. It was uh, like one of the PA auctions. Oh, like a for, like a forbearance auction? Like a, like, yeah, like yeah. A, they stopped paying and got repoed. And then, yeah, okay. and it was a Ford Explorer XLT, so it had like the extended cab and like the super big back to it. Yeah, I don't remember you driving that car. Um, that was a big SUV, right? Yeah, it was a big SUV. Yeah, I don't remember you having it. I think I moved out of uh, Ashtabula at the time. It was in Cleveland where I had it. Yeah, because after like like after I graduated high school, like I had a lot happen right when, gra- when high school graduated, and I kind of yeah. like disappeared for a while. Like, well, just wasn't around as much. I moved to Youngstown and stuff, and so like, and then you moved back to Cleveland. You were out by like Todman. I was. Because then I would see you at their place. Yep. Yeah. So, so yeah, I had it then. I also, like, worst car I've ever had would probably be a Dodge Cav... No, Chevy Cavalier? Yeah, Chevy Cavalier. It was a Chevy Cavalier, and I had to put a stick in the window to keep the uh, the window up. Like, I would have to, like, jam a stick, like, in the window, like, in the door, just to keep the window uh, up because it wouldn't stay up. one time with my spirit, the seat, bro- the driver's seat broke, like, yeah. the up and down. So I had to like put like a stick behind it, so I could like, so the seat would stay up. So dangerous because oh. if I would have gotten an accident, I would have like broken my back. Yo, I had one of those too. That same and, like, Cavalier. Until my dad like uh, went found seats at a junkyard, and it ended up being because the, the Spirit had a bench seat in the front. Yeah. And then he ended up buying just two bucket seats that were from a different model of Spirit. And then I I remember I changed them out myself in the driveway one day, mm. and. Uh, but yeah, it was like, cause like it was, it just, there was nothing you could do. It was like, if not, I would have to sit like holding myself up the whole time. Like, so I had, and I had to drive, I had to like go to work and stuff. So, I mean, it wasn't a long time, but it was long enough. Yeah. See, and that, that's, that's crazy. I, I don't even know what to tell people to do if they're in situations like that. It's man. like, do what you gotta do. Kind yeah. Of. Yeah. I've definitely had like a bolt in my seat, keeping my seat up. I've been there. Yeah, I wish I. Yeah, I just it was. Yeah, there was a, it was. Uh, yeah, it was. Not <laughs> it was. It was yeah. I forgot all about that till just now. I know, and I forgot about me having to do the same thing. Yeah, dude, it's nuts. I remember just like sitting up, and it was like the most uncomfortable just ride ever. Oh yeah, dude, riding in a car when it's like not like legal. I guess would be the right word because if, if anyone, if I would have been pulled over, he'd be like, "What the f is this stick holding your seat up?" And I'd be like, "Sorry, officer, <laughs> didn't know I couldn't do that." Whoops, I did it again. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, officer. That was the same car where the cop like pulled me over. How do I fair catch that? No, I just do it. Yeah, you just did it. All right. Uh, that was the same car that uh, Cavalier was the same car that I got pulled over, and then Todd was in the back seat. Oh, no. And the cop was like, he looks at Todd. He's like, you okay back there? And looks at me. And I'm like, what do you mean? He got him hostage. Yeah, like he's right in the back of my car and I'm kidnapping him. He's like the same size as me. He's a full, he's older than me. He's, <laughs> I was like 20 something. He was like 30 something at the time. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> he's like, no, sir, I'm in danger. <laughs> That would have been hilarious. <laughs> that would have been so funny. I would have done that. <laughs> you okay? Thank you for asking. I'm not okay. I am not okay. I'm here against my will. Haha, <laughs> uh-huh, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. That went over really well. <laughs> oh, you're just joking. Right, just nah, around. we never would have got to see Iron Man. Yeah, dude. Never would have never got to see Iron Man. And that that is something. Why was he in the back? Because my passenger door didn't open. Oh, okay. That was the, like I, this is the worst car I've ever had. It was know? just like a junk car. Right? Yeah, like like I said, there was a stick in the window keeping the window up. There was uh, <clears throat> there was the fact that the seat didn't stay up. The passenger door wouldn't open. Oh the, my god! The driver's side door you had to close it a certain way. <laughs> It was like the air conditioning didn't work, of course. Do you remember Todd had that car that he had, like, rope keeping the passenger door closed? <laughs> it was like when I first met him, I was like, he was like I got a really bad car. And it was like, it was like rope keeping it closed. I mean, I mean, it doesn't sound too far off from something that would go on. You, you just don't know what to do in those days, honestly. Well, especially, like, when you're, like, young and you don't, you know what I mean? You're just like, well, got to do it. What I got to do? <laughs> right. 
got to drive, right? <laughs> right. Well, my passenger door won't close. All right, I'll rope it close. <laughs> that yep. works. Get some extension cords, some right. zip ties. Exactly. As long as it doesn't pop up while you're driving, you're good. Can anybody ride in it? Sure can. Now, I'm not going to lie, Jones. I feel like there's a problem if you're still going through that and you're in your 30s, though. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, usually by your 30s, you're making, I mean, you might be making great money, but you should have, like, a, a decent job and yeah, I just, making decent money. I feel like you should just be, like, making better life choices. By the time. Also better life choices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Like, I can understand you having, like, a not great car, but, you know. I don't. Okay, I'm, I feel like I'm being judgmental, so I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna. I mean, everyone has their own journey, but yes, You're, usually God that's the just, time of their life. God, how dare you bring other people's journeys in right now? Yeah, don't be. How dare you be open-minded? Don't you? Have a damn journey. If this is not my journey. Then f you. Wow. How dare you bring? My journey's the right journey. Your journey is Steve Perry. <laughs> that's what? a joke. It went right over the I don't know. I thought Steve that was Steve Perry's the lead singer of Journey. Luke Perry? Steve Perry. What's the difference? Luke Perry was in Beverly Hills Mile 2 and up. Never seen it. Yeah. That's cool. Heard of it, though. Yeah, it's a show about kids doing kid things. They're like 30-year-olds in high school. I never understood how shows like this made it, to be honest. Uh, it's just a show about, like, people hanging out. and. It's a show about, like, life, dude. They have all these, like, high school problems and all these kids relate. I mean, there's always someone going through something. So if you have, like, a bad breakup or a big rumor about a you. A big rumor. Because, no, I mean. Oh, you, my God. Yeah, dude, you know. Really, though? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I don't know. You're oh, wait, am I? Yeah, let's go for it. You're losing. You know this, right? And you're going to miss because see where the blue line is? Well, how? Well, freaking what the hell, Jones? So what do I do? Uh, I call time out. Third down. I didn't. I just went with what the thing told 50. me. It says field uh, goal. Go for it. Just go for a pass. You need five yards. You're on the. I mean, you kind of need to. Because if you punt it, it ain't really going to help you. So, I, I mean, but I don't want to lose. Hit B. You're in the wrong field. Yeah, no, I know. There you go. We'll go for it. Curls, Dan. Curls always get it for me, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, no. Gordy, you go the other it's way. Except you didn't throw to the guy doing the curl. I threw it to the A button guy. I was trying to trick him. You tricked yourself. You played yourself there, bro. <laughs> I didn't, dude. All he had to do was fall back. Yeah. He spring ran ahead, forward. Spring ahead, fall back. All he had to do was grab the ball and then fall back. And instead, he's like, no, I'm going to go forward. Not Look at everybody's that. good. How dare you? you know that. So did we lose? <laughs> no, no. It's in the third quarter. You got a chance. All right. Not after this. Oh, no, yeah, you do. You're only down by three. You still got a shot. All right, cool. Yeah, so now that I am an adult and, you know, I went to school and stuff, I have a car that is decent. I'm not like, what am I even doing? A run play. I'm not like rolling out in a Lexus or anything, but. Oh, God. Could you please? What? That was the weirdest event ever. It's because you told me that uh, if a guy is like leaning one way, I can hold the stick in the other direction to try to keep him up. So I actively try to do that. Yeah, and it works. It does work, but then it leads to like <laughs> yeah, weird stuff like that happening. Yeah, this yeah. If you start faltering to your right, yeah, hold left, and it like breaks yourself. But it, I don't ever try to use that. It's just hard. I turn into a cartoon character trying yep. to like keep themselves. Yeah, upright. you're like doing Tony Hawk moves on the mat, <laughs> trying to balance out the stick. I am. I can't help it now that I know it's a thing. I'm trying to incorporate the stiff arm. I've done it like in one play. Oh. <laughs> He move. Nah, dude, they got you. They got your number. They do, like man. Collins. I gotta get to him. Baby, baby, won't you give my number? Just line on anywhere. To find you. Yeah, dude. Exactly. Jonas. Dude, I should start listening to Phil Collins. You're not even wrong. He's so good. He's dude. so good. There's so many good songs. I thought about bumping out some, some Philly, Philly C. Some Philly C. Yeah, I, Jonas, hot take, dude. Phil Collins, I love him to death, man. I think he's amazing. Yeah, I do. Genesis too. <sighs> yes, dude, both of them. Were both, good. dude. If Phil Collins is a part of it, dude, I'm on board. Yeah, I would like to see him in concert, but he doesn't do it anymore. No, he does not. And I don't blame him, man. He's old. Yeah, dude. He's made his money. He's oh, a trillionaire. Sure. 
Yeah, dude, that's a good. Oh man, I should listen to some Cliff Collins one day. Is that your plan now? Is that your plan? Susie Studio. Say the words. Oh. Give me that. Oh, you're a winner, dude. You're going to come down here and win. I don't know if I, you know, like, I don't really usually like the popular songs. You know what another CD, like, this is such a, a YouTuber trope, though, uh, is a Contraband Men at Works album. Okay. Oh, my God. I, I, I told one of the doctors that uh, I worked with about it, and he was like, I'm going to give that a shot. And then he was like, this is great. Yeah, is it, very, is it like April 80 sounding? Um... Kind of, not really though. Like everybody, you, when you think of uh, men at work, you automatically you can dance. You can dance. Everybody, take that, that song is that what you think of. or Africa. There, that's that's Toto. Toto. The other song. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't can't think of what it is. I had it in my head until you said Africa. <laughs> <laughs> I had it. But I, I know. What what is the song? I think of safety dance when I hear men. At All work. right. Well, they don't sound like that. And, okay. and no, no, in that song. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Who thinks of safety dance? <laughs> we can dance. We can dance. That's not the song that you think of. <laughs> you should think of them, though. Yeah, it is. It's not Africa, though. No, it's Men at Work. Men at Work did. Africa did. Yeah, Toto did Africa. That's Africa. That's Toto. <laughs> that it's so bad, I forget. I'm trying. Either way, really good band, man. And they had some bangers outside of. Uh, down under. Yeah, outside of down under. Wide open. <laughs> ah, <laughs> 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 the land in down under. Sandwich. I come from a land down under. That's yeah, that it. Yeah. But yeah. That, that CD. What CD is it? It's called Contraband. Uh, best of Men at Work. Oh, it's the best of men at work. It oh, is. So it's like their best of. Okay. Oh, shit. Jonas, I only got 43 seconds, and I got three points to make All up right, for. All right, let's do it. You better do some good passes, Frank. Oh, heck yeah. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. Yeah, dude. Mom, spaghetti. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yeah, dude. Do it. You Drugs. only get one shot. Oh, Kittle, playing it like a fiddle. That's a nice, that's exactly what you needed to do. Because right? <laughs> right, you need to catch it and go out of bounds so you save your time. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. Yeah, dude. Quick. You're, you're getting the getting the, the mantra or the... the Quick and uh, easy. Uh, the uh, meta. Right. The Madden meta. I'm trying. Now we're going to do it on the other side. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you're just going to try to say you play, but on the other yeah, side. Yeah, man, hey. You have timeout, so if you do have to hit the boy going in the middle. Oh, he's open, too. Boom. Out of bounds. You're <laughs> 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 like fish out of water out of bounds. You're like Joe Montana. Right <laughs> like they had a slip and slide on the sideline. <laughs> right? <laughs> all like, Dude, oh! God. That was great. All right, 43 seconds. Uh, well, let's, let's see what we got in single back here. Let's go with the PA Boost Flood. I don't know what the, PA Boost Flood. I don't know what that Ooh, means. That's, I mean, there are some boys doing some there things. There are some boys doing some things. Oh, how pretty is that? <laughs> Celebrate. Celebrate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Walk it off, Kettle. You earned it. Walk it off, dude. Yeah, right? I almost yeah. feel like I know what the hell I was doing there almost, Jonas. Yeah, you did. It seemed like it. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks, guys. We gave it up at the end, just like my friends. <laughs> Are you saying that his friends killed themselves? No, give it up. <laughs> oh. Cookies. Oh, okay. All right, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Please make sure to send it to a friend and uh, make him all happy because it will make us happy. Do. Be happy. Do. For Jones, TNT Dynamite. We are out. This one moves him to thirteen and two on the year.